I can't wait to take all this stuff off this front of this bike and just put some nice clean signal lights on it. It'll look really good. So anyway, the way you get these uh, lights off, and I'm not sure yours will be exactly like this, but uh, this is what this one looks like. I'm sure it's all similar. There's two screws on the side of the headlight, one down here and one over here. Take those little Phillips screws out. And then what you do is you carefully lift the bottom of the headlight out and it'll just come out. You notice I put a towel there? Put a towel on your bike there, just in case something falls off or whatever. You don't want it to dent your, tank, your fender or whatever. Okay, the next thing we want to do is unplug the wires coming from the signal lights into the headlight bucket here. Uh, that's these connectors right here. There's three on each side. I'll zoom in there for you. You got these three. And then there's three on the other side. I've disconnected those already. And then I don't know how, I don't remember. I've had this light bar for a long time. I don't remember how these uh, wires, if they went behind these little slits here or in the back. But go ahead and fish those out like that so we can take this light bar off. Before we do that, we wanna just set the headlight bucket back on there. Now there again, I don't remember how exactly this fastens on. I know the two screws on the bottom, and then there's some brackets on the side here. And they fasten to those screws on the side. So go ahead and take the two side ones off and then take these bottom ones out. And that light bar should come right out. Oh, that's cleaner already. Okay, we're gonna have to use these wires coming out of this original headlight setup, or signal light setup. So go ahead and just cut those off. I'm gonna cut them up about there. I mean, we're not gonna use nearly that much, but cut them off, better too much than not enough. There you go. That's about a foot or so. Gosh, getting these uh, front lights ready to go and uh, installing these is gonna be a piece of cake. Okay, so it's real simple. So you take your lights, lay them out, and you cut the stock ends off, the little brass ends, just cut those off, flush to the ends. Okay, on the wires from the bike, I cut about five inches off each one of those, and then go ahead and pull your sheathing off and expose those. Okay, now when we get finished, you are, uh, finish length will be about 18 inches. So that, you may wanna kinda hold these up there before you cut them and make, make sure that's about what it'll come out to be. I mean, that's approximate. If it was an inch or two shorter or longer, it wouldn't really matter. That's probably ideal, so. And then what we do is we go ahead and strip the ends off the wires on both the original wires and the light wires. And then we crimp these little butt splicers that we give you in the kit. So go ahead and crimp those on. And then after we crimp them, we'll go ahead and heat shrink these heat shrinks over them. And then uh, I give you a close up picture of the wire colors. Now the most important one always is the ground. The grounds are the, always the most important because once you get the grounds correct, say you did these wrong, you can always switch them in the bike, it wouldn't really matter but the grounds have to be correct. Okay, the uh, ground wires, you got the black with white stripe from the signal lights to the black with yellow stripes from the bike. So just stripe to stripe. So go ahead and do that. Finish them up so they look like this one. And then we'll be ready to put these on the bike. Oh, you'll notice uh, that the heat shrink that we use is the best uh, money can buy. It has the adhesive inside. Nothing but the best for the blue collar bobber guy. Makes a permanent uh, splice. Okay, lay your uh, bar out like this, your light bar. This is the back and then this is the front. The front has the li uh, lip that hangs down. What we're going to do, we're going to put the lights in like this because we want this smooth side up. We don't want that uh, that ugly nut up on the showing. So. That's how it's gonna go in there. This one's done. Okay, what we do, it's real simple. You just flip it over. We're gonna put the light in there like this. We take the nut and the washer and back it off and expose the wires. You just slide that wire down in that slot, shove the thread through and screw the nut and the washer 
up against the light bar. Do that, and then what we do after that is, we'll take this, uh, I've done this side. You'll notice I put a wire tie right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a wire tie right there on this one. Wire tie those, and then that'll hold that, oh, and shove that sheathing up against the wire here when you do that. You don't want that uh, wire to show if you look from the front of the bike. It's not a big deal, but go ahead and put a little wire tie in here. So do a wire tie on both. And then this is ready to go into the bike. Let's go ahead and put this bar uh, under the bike here. It's real simple. We give you a couple of six millimeter flange screws and they go up in these two holes right here. They're to match these two holes in the light bar. So basically they go up through like that. And then uh, as you slide it in there, make sure that your wires are going toward the back of the bike. Let's go ahead and put the first one in first. And then I'll put the second one in. Uh, make sure that your lights are have the flat side up so they look real nice. These are still loose. We don't worry about that. We can reach through here and snug them up once we get the light bar on the bike. I went ahead and shoved the wire up back from the back of the bike and up through the uh, bucket, through those hole in the back. So we've got both wires coming out, three on this side and three on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I wire tighten them on the back in just a second here. One thing too, I pushed on this as I tighten the screws, just so it fits flat against the forks as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where I wire tied the wires on the back. Okay, this is the back side. I just ran the wire up here, and then there's a li some little loops in the front there, right in here. I just wire tied the, the wires to there, and then they go straight up into the bucket. If you do a nice, neat job on this, it just pays off. Another thing too, you want these wires to be away from this, uh, where you, your lock here, because if they got down in here, they could actually cut the wires. So it's nice to have them routed up through this way. Nice sanitary job. Now we need to plug these wires in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the best way to do it uh, real quick. Okay, the first ones that we want to plug in is just one side. We'll start with this right side of the bike. We want to plug in the black with yellow stripes. So just plug those in. You don't need to push the connector in all the way, just so it makes a connection. And then the other one you want to do is the green to the green. Uh, the green in this bike is kind of a greenish gray. It's not the red and blue one. So go green to green. Forget the red and blue one right now. We're going to try this first. So go ahead and turn your key on and then hit your signal switch. So we'll go to the right side. Now you'll notice there's no flash. So if I go over to the left side, you know, it'll be flashing. So it's wrong. So what we need, we need to change this over to the to this side, to this group of wires here. So I'm gonna switch those over real quick. Turn your key off when you do this.
I've switched the wires over to the other side, the other group of wires coming out of the motorcycle, which is here. This is the other side. Okay, what I did, I, I'm confident this side will work now. So I plugged in all three wires. So you've got to go over the, mo the most important, uh, black with yellow stripe to black with yellow stripe, then green to green. It's kind of a green to gray. And then blue to kind of blue and red. And I plug those in, push them in all the way, make sure they go all the way in and make good contact. And then I turn the key on and voila, this is what I get. So there's the flasher. And you'll notice that uh, the back is flashing as well as the front. And uh, you notice too, that's nice because the flash is slower now. When you have both front and rear flashing, it won't be as fast a flash. It'll be uh, the way it should be. So there you have it. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug the other side in. Turn the key off before you plug them in. You notice it's a running light now and a signal. Same with the back, matches the back. Back and front. I'll plug the other side in with the key off. I've uh, plugged all these wires on both sides. Now, uh, <clears throat> make sure you do the colors correctly. I'll give a little close up here of what I've done. So the blue goes to the red and blue, black with yellow stripe to black with yellow stripe, and then green to kind of a grayish green. We include pictures on the key, in the kits too of all this uh, stuff, these important items. So you can always refer to the pictures also. And one thing I did too, to make sure the connections are really good, I pushed them all the way with my uh, fingers, but I took some pliers and actually pushed that little bit in there. And some of my, on some of them, I actually felt it kind of pop in a little tighter. So maybe take some pliers and just gently push that in there. And then turn your key on, make sure all your wires, your lights work properly. Should be running and signals. Dogs freak out whenever I turn the bikes on. And there you have it. I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing we want to do is uh, tighten the lights up. Uh, we left room in there for a 17 millimeter wrench to get in there and tighten these. Now, don't get too carried away because these are aluminum threads with a hollow um, bolt. So just snug them up to where they don't rotate. Don't get too carried away. You don't want to break those off. And then uh, I see a lot of people, they aim the lights up. I, you know, I like to have them level, maybe slightly up, but just, you know, the factory doesn't do that. They have them kind of level to the ground. So I just think they look better. So anyway, there you have it. Oh, one other thing too, uh, don't panic. If you turn your, uh, try to turn your headlight on, it won't come on until you start this Vulcan. Uh, that's one thing the Kawasaki Vulcans are famous for is, and a lot of bikes, they don't, the headlight won't come on until you start the bike. I get calls all the time. Uh, wow, I did my wiring and my headlight won't come on. And I said, well, just start it up. Anyway, so there you have it. Those lights look nice and clean. So much tidier than that big old stock setup. And then I always stick my hand in front of the bike whenever I'm riding just to make sure that they're on, even the headlight. And then you can actually see the lights when you're riding, make sure they flash and everything properly. So there you have it. We've got light.